Let's take a quick look at Miko, the new plugin from ML Sound Lab. Essentially, Miko is an IR loader and IR mixer, but the interface is the big selling point of this rather than having to navigate a massive list of IRs with complex sounding names, you just get a virtual speaker and microphone position, which is pretty cool. At the moment, I've got this mega 4x12 old, I'm guessing it's some kind of Mesa boogie cabinet with a 906 mic, and you can just simply move the microphone around or out from the speaker. So my go-to normally with a dynamic mic position on a speaker would be somewhere around here, I've applied a little bit of low cut and a little bit of high cut. And what I'm gonna do is I'll play for you guys and I'll move this around and really find the sweet spot. I'm using my Axe FX3 Atomica high model. Sounds like this. <laughs> I like the sound of that. What I would normally do is blend a dynamic and a ribbon mic. So what I'll do is I'll chuck on this 121. It's right on the cone and I will adjust the mix uh, between these two mics. I'll start with, actually I'll start with the mix for the 121 right down and slowly bring it in. <laughs> And that already sounds like a very usable guitar tone. There are a whole selection of different cabinets we can go through. For example, we could try a vintage Marshall cab. <laughs> There is a Zilla cabinet in here, which sounds very, very cool if you're into sort of more modern tones. And of course, there are a selection of different microphones. I could try, for example, a 160 right here. Or I could bring the distance on this microphone back a little bit and we get this. Which is cool to give it like a little bit of a roomy kind of sound. Uh, I could also swap out, say, this other microphone for a 57. <laughs> The really cool thing about this plugin though is when you get a mic mix that you really like, say I wanted to load this particular mic blend up into my Axe FX so I didn't have to use the plugin, you can simply hit export IR and you can set the sample rate, the bit depth and whether you want it stereo or mono or if you want it raw or minimum phase transformed and you can export that and load that into your device of choice. There are also these impedance and cut controls. Say you were using a device which doesn't have power amp modeling, like you were using one of the little Mua micro preamps and you wanted to add some power amp color, you could use the low resonance and the high resonance frequency to essentially shape a power amp style response and bake that into the IR. I'm obviously using the Axe effects at the moment. And there is also this profile control, which sounds Sounds like this. And what the profile control there is doing is controlling the slope of the high and low pass filters on there. There are a few other mics we can have a look at. Say I didn't want a 57, say I wanted the good old 421 and I wanted to move it, say down here. <laughs> 
Really easy. I could bring the distance back a bit if I wanted to. Sounds like this. <laughs> And I could also have more than two microphones on there. Personally, that's something I wouldn't necessarily do, but you could do that. There's also this tone control here, which lets you sort of control the impedance. You know, if you want it to sound more like a combo or a US 4x12 or a UK 4x12, there's a distance. You can control the phase between the microphones. Uh, from what I understand, there's literally uh, like thousands if not tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of different IRs here which means as you move this around the response is super smooth you can also see the spectrum which is really really nice as well you can pan your different microphones to different sides so you want to export a stereo IR there's so many options going on with this particular plugin that all I'm going to do for the rest of this is I'll just set I'll go back to the good old 121 and move it right up to the grill and we'll stick with a 57 here so a v classic guitar amp microphone combination right there and what i'll do is i'll just give you a very quick demo of how the different speaker cabs sound <laughs> I think I like the sound of this old Mesa cab right there. So that is a very brief look at what Miko does, the new plugin from ML Sound Lab. It's out now. You can go and check it out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.